and I'm here. It's incredible. Um, I got irritated playing Dark Souls because the remastered version has problems. Uh, so I decided to do this instead for some reason. What? What's what's happening? Oh, because I don't have fucking PlayStation Plus. Jesus. Um, okay. Not a great um, fucking reintroduction. Having to come back and be like, pay money! Okay, whatever. Um, I'm just gonna fucking look at my... Oh, God, this fucking shit. Yeah, because I had a friend of mine fucking playing for a little bit. Uh, this was my previous character. Um, can I not? No? Okay, fine. New game! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we don't get to see the fun cutscene. <laughs> the Omen trailer. The... God, the splash well, screen for fucking right Bloodborne's place. terrible, and they never changed it. Is the home of blood it's the worst one, I think. You need only unravel its mysteries. I mentioned it a little bit previously, but From There's Software has a really like terrible fucking habit, or they used to. They've mostly gotten rid of it Easy. of having of awesome intros and really nice-looking title screens, First, or nice-looking splash screens, it. and then their title screens looking like shit. Um, thankfully they grew out of it where it's like not like that the title screens were terrible but what would happen is like armored core 2 has this problem where uh you load into armored core 2 and the intro is great and then you get to the splash screen it's all nice and animated and pretty and then when you press start the entire thing just freezes and becomes a blurry like terrible looking jpeg never played as a female character in bloodborne I'm just gonna skip past all this, by the way. Right. Cruel Fate seems like the best way to fucking do it. Um, for what I'm trying to do, anyway. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have time to do Arcane, so... Well, yeah, fuck it. And why break tradition? I, I say, having broken tradition off of Elden Ring for no fucking reason. Remember when this game came out and it didn't have fucking item descriptions on the loading screens and the loading screens took like five fucking minutes to, to go through and it sucked? <laughs> uh, I haven't played Bloodborne in like many a year, so um, expect me to suck because I was never particularly good at Bloodborne even when it was like the current Souls game, um, so I'm not going to be any better now. Yeah. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfer. Can't even taste it. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere. Do you even bad. see this fucking guy ever again? Or does he just turn into one of the enemies you endlessly mow down? Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> if I remember correctly, Yosefka's fucking thing is not available until after you die and come back. <sighs> Bloodborne always had really bad aliasing. <laughs> this never gets explained why the werewolf comes out of the fucking blood puddle. Like, there's a lot about Bloodborne that you actually can figure out pretty, like, but, like, pretty, like, you know, conclusively over the course of the game. And then there are just some things that are just, like, because Berserk or it looks cool. The thing that irritates me about Bloodborne and a lot of From Software's games in general is that the gameplay rarely actually serves the narrative, and when it does, it's always in small ways that are relatively inconsistent with the overall game. Um, 
Armored Core does this. Dark Souls does it. Demon Souls does it. <sighs> Elden Ring does it. Bloodborne you does it. It's, it's all of their games. It's because they care more about the fucking aesthetic of the game and the gameplay more than any consistency in the actual overall presentation. Wow, that, like, motion blur is, like, tearing hard. Not on the recording, though, which is weird. I find it... Why the fuck did my fan just kick on super fucking hard on the goddamn... Whatever. Game environment. I have never fucking... I don't remember seeing that, like, as an option in whatever. You can't do shit. Why do games even have graphical settings on console if all they do is, like, control the brightness or, like, you know, that kind of shit? Okay, right. Oh yeah, this game has a weird, like, unique, like, fucking melee system for unarmed, doesn't it? Not like the way fucking Dark Souls 2 does, though. That's the tr uh, Two hand is... No, that's trick, not two hand. And no paddles. No paddles on this controller, for good or ill. Probably ill, in my case, but you know. Oh, God. Right. Because Bloodborne runs like shit. I forgot. I forgot that Bloodborne runs like shit. And it does. Bloodborne runs really badly. Still. Get off me, psycho. Oh, fuck off. Lame. I'll comment on the everything that's happening. Wow, this game, while it looks better than I remember in terms of, like, overall fidelity, it looks like shit on this television, and there's tons of aliasing problems all over the place. Shit. No, hurry up. Why is there input delay? What's happening here? This isn't Dark Souls Remastered. Why does it run so badly? Ugh. I don't regret this quite yet, but I'm sure I will later. <sighs> I have extremely mixed feelings about Bloodborne, probably more than a lot of the other Souls or games in general. Like, Sekiro I just don't like, because it's not to my taste, but it does function as intended. Bloodborne runs really badly and has a lot of weird foibles in it, both design-wise and performance-wise. Um, and I like a lot of Bloodborne, but it's just, there's a lot of other times in which I'm just like, God fucking damn it, this is infuriating to play. Um, and like, turning the camera like this on my screen right now is giving me all I need to know about how much I'm gonna fucking enjoy this playthrough. Cause holy shit, that is fucking nauseating and how bad that looks on my screen. Again, it doesn't show up as badly in the recording, but what I'm doing right now is causing so much goddamn, like, screen tearing I don't think is the right word, but it looks really, really fucking bad when I do that. I don't know why that's not showing up on the recording, it must just be something that fucking Elgato isn't picking up on. But when I turn the camera, like, it looks really bad. <laughs> Right, um, pretty sure the axe is the actual best option to start with. Don't remember. Yeah, I think the pistol's actually, like, because the blunderbuss I picked the first time through the game, and it just didn't work as well as I wanted it to. What's up, Garman? Aha! Uh -huh. You must 
Why the fuck can't I just take that scythe that's on the wall? Or those rifles, or any of the other shit that's there. This will be your home. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. That handle's so you fucking know, thick. It's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. Great. This was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. We don't have Good on you for the whole metaphysical location that still has real world consequences thing. Use whatever you find. Even the dog. I didn't realize he had a fucking uh, peg leg in his wheelchair. This was once a fucking... safe haven for hunters. A workshop. Where hunters used blood to in your way even the dog. Okay, yeah, the fucking secondary line. Um This is not interactable yet. I forgot how many concept spoilers are around if you just fucking click on shit. Whatever. Um Oh god, this is gonna take me so fucking long to get used to again. Executioner's Gloves. Yeah, because they, like, sort of replace spells, but not really. Because the gun replaces spells, but not really. I don't really care for Bloodborne's forcing you to fucking put things in either hand. I just don't care for Bloodborne's fucking firearm system at all, actually. I find it annoying, and also, god damn it, this game runs at such a shitty frame rate. It's not that it runs at 30 frames per second. I don't care about that. It's that it runs at an inconsistent frame rate. Because um, it, like, hops between 20 and 30 and 15 and shit, and it's so annoying. Like, Dark Souls Remastered runs at 60 frames per second to the game's detriment because it makes the AI freak out. Are you... out on the hunt? Then I'm very sorry, but I love that fan art someone made as Yusefka. You can see her. She's actually a real person on the other side of the, the fucking uh, here in my clinic must not be exposed to infection. Thing. I know that you hunt for us, for our town, but I'm sorry. Please. This is all that I can do. Thank you. Now go. And good hunting. Are you still? But I have. Please, I can. Okay, yeah. Cause it's the other girl. I forget. Do I have to fucking pop this, or does it just stay popped? Yeah. Okay. Something that also irritates me about fucking Bloodborne is the fact that. Uh. Okay. Yeah. You are. Is that Bloodborne, um, fucking uses the goddamn Arcstone mechanic from Demon Souls instead of having, um, goddamn, um, bonfires? Which, you know, I understand sort of why they decided on that, but it's a fucking massive pain in the ass when you're trying to, like, reset a zone or, like, do other stuff that doesn't involve fucking going back to the Hunter's Dream. I'm not entirely certain why they chose to do it this way. Oh yeah, there's no blocking in this game, is there? Oh my god, this runs like such massive shit. Crap. Like, this is stuttering and hopping all over the place. Yeah, slash at the bodies to get your health back. I do like that. That's a fun detail. Of like... Because the other Souls games punish you for overextending and swinging after your enemy's dead. This game doesn't reward you for it, but it doesn't discourage it either. 
So I guess that's cool. And this becomes my active one if I touch it, right? Nope, it doesn't fucking matter. Oh, you must be a hunter. And not one from around here. Under. I don't remember your name. Gilbert. Yeah, okay, cool. If you come back and talk to him later, he gives you a flamethrower, which is cool, but useless. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to. The flamethrower is really only good if you want a more reliable manner of, um, <laughs> procking the burn effect if you throw an oil cask at something. Because the flamethrower has a much wider fucking hit spray. So, if you manage to land the oil, the flamethrower will help you ignite it. But aside from that, the flamethrower is kind of useless. And very, very rarely are things like consumables going to be the thing that win you the fight. Healing consumable, maybe. Damage consumable, not likely. And almost everything in the game will dodge thrown items. So they're only good against giant monsters, and giant monsters have both massive defense and massive fucking, um, health. Yeah, I can fucking see it. It's like over there. Not over there, over there. Yeah. That's such a terrible fucking name. Yarnamites. Actually, this whole place sucks, and I hate it. Though it is one of the few locations in the Souls universe, parentheses, S parentheses, that I could actually see. Okay, yeah. Is that all your dialogue? Yeah, okay. Um... It's one of the few locations that feels like it could actually be real. Or not real, but like usable, I guess. Um, um, look at this classic fucking Dark Souls slash Demon Souls event. Guy hiding behind a barrier fucking breaks the barrier in a flurry of attacks, etc. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That worked out pretty well. At least these first few guys drop a lot more fucking shit than the, uh, you get later in the game. Because holy shit, later in the game, they're just, enemies don't drop nearly enough health to keep up with what you're losing. And that sucks, because unlike in this, unlike in Dar uh, fucking Dark Souls, you don't get your fucking health back when you fucking... Uh, die, you have to go farm more, which is not reliable or fucking easy to do for most of the game. It ends up becoming like a massive pain in the ass. And I'm not going over there because there's no reason to fucking fight that guy. Because he doesn't fucking drop anything and there's no item over there worth getting. I.e. fighting him is an enormous waste of time. Yeah, fucking that fire attack if you get hit by it does way more damage than it probably should. Um God, this fucking frame rate is like hard to deal with. This is the first time standard enemies talked in a Souls game, too. Which they didn't really do at any point afterwards, so the significance was kind of lost. Like, yeah, there's one or two enemies in some of the later games that talk, but it's not common enough for it to become, like, a feature that crept forward into later games, really. I don't want to... The ability to not only not block, but not parry fucking sucks. 
fuck, I forgot how bad that is. Oh, okay. Christ. Where did those guys come from? I don't remember them being on that side. Oh, hey, yeah, there's a top hat on the floor. Um, but yeah, I really don't like a lot of things about Bloodborne. I think it has to do with, um, I have a really strong distaste for games that normally, or especially like, oh great, I fucking, ugh, didn't fucking update my goddamn thing to the other one. Oh, is the werewolf stay dead? Huh, neat. Um, I don't like it when a game establishes itself as a property that allows you to adjust how you play the game to your liking and then restrict you into a solitary style of playing the game. Because, yeah, you get to choose what weapons you prefer, and fucking some stuff in that regard, but at the end of the day, the game is kind of forcing you to play in a specific manner. You have to play aggressive, you have to fucking react to all attacks by dodging. There's not any amount of variety in how you're allowed to, like, go into situations. You kind of have to, like, handle them all the same way. And that's irritating. Um, Armored Core, the new one, has a similar problem where, because the entire game's damage system revolves around staggering enemies and then cashing out the damage when they're staggered, it doesn't allow for, for uh, play styles that don't have that type of fucking, like, inclination. Like, there's no sniping, there's no fucking, like, fucking slower, like, fucking, but, like, stronger hitting attack play styles. Fucking, like, there aren't anything you can do with, like, ECM to fucking, like, disable or fucking, um, confuse enemies and then fucking, like, you know, guerrilla tactics, hit and runs. Like, the game forces you into a very specific attack pattern on enemies, and while a lot of the enemies do have differences in their designs, you're going to engage them the exact same way almost every time. And that kind of sucks. Because it makes all of the encounters feel very, very similar to each other. When they should, you know, might, like, they shouldn't feel very similar to each other. You're fighting completely different enemies in a lot of cases. But you don't get to fucking experience that, I feel. Um, I had a much more cogent point previously, but my brain isn't really working right now. Um... Case in point. Um, am I just forgetting about a bunch of guys that were around here? Maybe. Okay, so those guys saw me last time. That's what it was, I guess. Um, but yeah, with Armor Core, it's like, you fight fucking, like, most of those bosses, you're going to end up fighting the same way, except for a handful of set-piece bosses that have inherent dis uh, differences, like, built into them, essentially, like, baked in. Um, like, the only ones that stood out as, like, bosses I had to, like, really fucking, like, change up the way I fought were the first time I fought Balteus and the fucking Enforcer midway through the game. Those were the only two in which my fucking came together and my brain was like, okay, you need to swap how, like, you approach these fights entirely. Everything else that I fought, I ended up kind of fighting the exact same way and it didn't feel like I was able to play the game the way I wanted to play it, which is why some, like, some people are talking about, I was like, well, why do you fucking keep complaining about Armored Core 6? It's a really good game. It's like, yes, it is a really good game, but one of my favorite things about Armored Core was the ability to engage with it the way that I wanted to and build my fucking playstyle a certain way, which Armored Core 6 actively disincentivizes, and in some cases, it's not even possible to do so. You know? Really? forgot about that. Can y'all come over here or something? Oh, great. Ah, 
How's about to fucking carry through? It's not like you can't fucking see me. Just get the fuck over here. Oh my god, that is annoying. But yeah, Sekiro was the first time I really felt like From Software was trying to ramroad me into a specific style of play. And I thought in Sekiro, it's like, it's irritating, but it makes sense. Sekiro's not built in the way that the other Souls games are. It is much more closer to something like Ninja Gaiden in the way it's designed. Whereas, fucking, this is somewhere in between that and fucking a traditional Souls game. Like, even, like, Armored Core 4 and 4 Answer with their reduced fucking part uh, numbers had a lot more options for me to pursue in terms of, like, offensive gameplay than 6 does. Because a lot, like, whereas in the previous games and fucking, um, such, fucking most parts feel like they're side grades, in fucking 6, a lot of parts just feel straight up not like, oh, God damn it, feel like they're unviable entirely, or they're meant for extraordinarily niche cases. Like, it's meant for you to die and then fucking, um, like, change to it mid-mission, which isn't, like, I feel like that's, while an option that I appreciate, I feel like it's an unintentional, or at least, like, improper usage of that. Like, I appreciate having the ability to respec if I'm having an absolute hard time of it, but I much prefer the way it worked in 5, where... You would clear out an enemy, and then you could call in the fucking helicopter to retool if you wanted to or needed it. It wasn't necessary in order to fucking, like, if you, like, get your ass kicked, right? Because traditionally, if you get your ass kicked, you just fucking go back to the fucking menu and change your shit and redo the mission. Because the idea was your build should be good enough to get you through the mission if you fucking, like, designed it well enough. Not design your build halfway through the mission under the assumption that you are going to, like, fail at some point and then just essentially cobble your shit back together, like, at the midway point. Like, I appreciate a checkpoint in a long mission, you know, for gameplay's sake, but I don't feel like... I feel like a lot of 6 is designed for you, at least in your first playthrough, to fail really hard and then, like, make up for it by retooling your fucking mech in the mission, as opposed to having a mech that can withstand the entire mission without you having to modify it after failing. Like, in the original games, you'd sometimes get resupply points, but they didn't let you fucking change all the parts on your mech without fucking having to, like, restart the whole mission. Because they expected your build to be fucking good enough to deal with the mission. Also, just fucking sick not having nearly as much, like, fucking complexity to look at. Like, I... 6 is a short game. I don't count replaying the game. Where the fuck did you come from? You shouldn't have been aggroed yet. I didn't... Ugh, that's so annoying. Whatever. At least I didn't get popped. That would have pissed me off. Because he's supposed to be stuck in that animation unless you approach him. He's not supposed to break off and attack you. That's really, really irritating. Ugh. Whatever. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Why is he over here now? This doesn't make any sense! 
And I can't fucking go for that. Oh, god damn it. Just get over here. Maybe I can fucking pop him on the fucking counter. I don't consider this to be... Oh, it didn't count? During this first section, you're getting enough blood vials to make up for it. But yeah, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Armor Core 6 irritates me though, even though I like it. Um, I don't think the game, like, the length of the game is one playthrough, in my opinion. New Game Plus, even if things are different. Like, Dark Souls 2 has shit that's different in New Game Plus. That doesn't mean fucking New Games, like, 2, 3, and 4 are part of the fucking initial run's overall longevity. But fucking, it's like... If you cut out all of the fucking unoriginal, like, additions to each of the New Game Pluses in fucking, um, 6, the amount of new content in each run is maybe, like, two and a half missions worth. Like, it shouldn't count, in my opinion. Yay, more pebble. I'm not being chased by that guy, am I? This is the first time that mobs and fucking... Well, not the first time in a Souls game, but the first time that it was the standard forget does this go all the way back to the top I'm trying to remember if it would be worth it before opening the shortcut to get the armor first I mean I theoretically could just run around right yeah but you can't climb back up or can you Where is the... I thought the armor was supposed to be on the other side. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can. So, it's not as big of a problem, I guess. It's been a long time since I played Bloodborne. My mental map is not. So... Ah, shit. Silverback Beast. And fuck it. These guys are out of my league for the current area, too. Yeah, fucking... Well, I mean... Mm, he did take a lot of damage from that, so maybe... that it killed him, but whatever. Yeah, okay, I remembered. And it's just better overall, so why wouldn't I put it on? There we go. Now we're main cover person. Mm. Well, that's a little irritating. Well, the saw spear is over there. I forget if those guys can climb ladders. I hope not. Oh my god, that slowdown is atrocious. Okay, they can. There we go, that works. Over there is the direction I want to go if I'm trying to get... 
Oh, words. They exist in my brain somewhere. Um, if I want to get the insight to use the doll. Or is it up here? I guess it's up here. Yes, it is up here. So what's down that direction? Fuck, my brain is just baked. <sighs> Fucking barking crows. I freaking hate these things. They're so fucking annoying. There we go. I'm not gonna pop it just yet. Can I sneak past this guy? That's not too bad. I'm just gonna open up this shortcut first. As long as I get everything before I go to Gascoigne. At least Bloodborne has the advantage of if you're still alive, you're probably not having to deal with enemies repopping. Guessing it's the smell of blood. I will find your mum, tiny child. Try not to get eaten by a giant pig. Will do. It plays one of Daddy's favorite songs, and when Daddy forgets us, we play it for him so he remembers. Mom says so silly running off without it. My mom wears. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to plug another fucking uh, fan fiction. Go read. Um, is it fucking? It's a fucking um, goddamn uh, fucking. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon and Bloodborne crossover? Uh, fucking, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen or something. It's really good, and it hasn't been updated in a long time, and I want it to be updated. There's a weird number of fucking Bloodborne and Dark Souls crossovers with that series for some reason. They're all really good, but there's a weird number of them. There's two Bloodborne ones and two Dark Souls ones from what I remember. Um, and they're both excellent, although I think the Bloodborne one that I'm gonna put at the fucking bottom of the screen is the better one in my opinion. I remember enjoying it a lot, and I saw an update on it, and I was like, ooh, yay, I wanna read it! And it was just an update being like, yeah, so someone's like fucking, uh, plagiarizing me by uploading it without my permission on another website, so just like, ignore them. And not an actual update, which is a little disappointing, because I wanted a real update to, you know, read, but fuck it, I guess. This is where the rats are. The fucking rats. Can't have shit. Wait, don't I have to, like, hit something before it falls down or whatever? Or is it just down here, actually, though? What the fuck just died? You know what? That works. I'm glad most weapons in this game don't fucking bounce off the walls like they do in Dark Souls. Oh god damn it! That means it's up there. Shit. Yeah, cause it's like it's something you have to cut down or something, or it's up on the fucking other platform and just drop down onto it. Which means I'm gonna have to fight more fucking silverback beasts. Which is always a pain in the ass. Because if you don't parry them, then they're a massive problem. Because they do a shit ton of damage and they stunlock you and all that shit. Ugh. I mean, look at those fucking blood stains, eh? Fuck you! Oh, this sucks. I 
think I've ever gotten the scripting from that side, where it starts with them shooting at you and then that guy runs around the corner. I think I've always done it the other way. Where you fucking go out and get attacked by the guy and then they start shooting at you. God, this frame rate is fucking terrible. Holy shit. My PS4 is supposed to run better than my fucking Xbox One did. I did not abuse it nearly as hard as I abused my Xbox One. I really... I abused the shit out of my Xbox One. Like, it was nearly fucking destroyed by the time I fucking finished using it. Where the hell is this thing? The fact that Bloodborne has the fastest recharge, or the fastest fucking animation for healing is appreciated. I know there's a trap behind one of these fucking things. At least to get help back on that. Are you gonna freak out if I walk behind you? I feel like they bumped the drop rate on enemies. I don't remember them dropping at fucking items nearly as quickly or as frequently as they do right now. That's the one you want to hit. I'm just stupid. Yeah, because I need to go talk to Eileen to advance her quest line. I don't know if I'm going to fucking pop all of these. I might. Wait, is there anything? I forget if there's items up here. There's fucking dogs. Fuck those dogs. You suck, dogs. But I do want to open the shortcut, so... <sighs> Not yet. I forget which one of these get out. So I'm just... Oh, you fucking bastard. At least that lock-on was a lot better than the other ones. I like how there's that fucking L-shaped hallway just to give you a fucking heart attack. I don't care if they're in cages, I don't remember which ones break. And I'd rather not walk past them and die fucking because I wasn't... I didn't care enough to check. I like how they added those because players didn't know where to go, and then fucking, they're so goddamn vague that they don't help at all. Die. 
Also, these guys have sabers that you can't actually get in the game. So what the hell? And we're back. Can I please set this as my primary? It's fucking irritating. Whatever, if I get sent back, I'll just fucking go to the Hunter's Dream and pop back in. It's what I should do, actually. It's because I'm probably going to die and lose all my shit. But I want to talk to Eileen first. Because she'll give me a hundred mark anyway. And I'll just waste one of those to come back, so... It'll be fine. I forget, are there guys up here? No? Good. Yeah, because that's the fucking... Saw spear right there. Oh, fuck you. That is genuinely... That is so fucking infuriating. Ugh. The fucking physics pushing me off the goddamn bridge. That's just as bad as the archer in Anne Orlando earlier. That's so annoying. <sighs> Whatever. All right, back to work, I guess. Oh yeah, you also run a lot faster in this game than you do in the others. Forgot about that. Yep, see, something get out. I remembered that. Because some of them get out, all of them have to die. Fuck you. Those dogs are infuriating no matter which fucking game they're in. At least the game was generous and didn't fucking leave my souls down there. It's usually not so kind. Hey, what's up?
A hunter, are you? Really? Someone fought her here? I'm an outsider. What a mess you can't get rid of sin in this game. And tonight of all nights. I'm taking my fucking fingers off the goddamn fucking front of the controller when I talk to NPCs in a game like this. Thank you. Prepare yourself. I will put the brand of sacrifice on my fucking no face. Humans left. Why does he Jacksepticeye no, got the fucking hunter's mark on his goddamn like neck or whatever? Yeah. It's like great. Still lingering about. What's wrong? A hunter. God, this fucking pistol is so enormous. No, god damn it! That's a. Oh my god, it's been fucking. Goddamn, like, 15 fucking years since that's happened by accident. I moved forward and it bumped into my fucking contr uh, goddamn table. I'm so sorry, Eileen. Still lingering Jesus Christ. I'm leaving before I fucking cause a goddamn fail state. Holy shit. In case you forgot, my fucking, um, microphone is sitting on a, like, TV tray kind of object directly in front of me. Which means, also, like, because I have no peripheral vision at all. Um, when I fucking move it out from in front of me, like, because I normally sit with my fucking hands underneath the tray. Uh, what happens is... I fucking... like bump into it sometimes and that happened literally at the worst possible instance it could have good fucking god Ugh. nightmare Shit. Remind me of the zombies in the Buffy video game. The ones that like shoot projectiles at you and crawl around on the ground and break their limbs. Oh, fuck off! Wow, this is like infuriating because they don't have proper fucking solid hitboxes. You know what I want? I want an Infinity Blade game that runs on, like, an engine similar to Dark Souls engine. So, like, in 3D with, like, in, like, intense combat. Holy shit. I mean, the original Infinity Blade does have an intense combat, but you know what I mean. You know what? Fuck you. I'm just gonna run past you. Fuck. This is, like, genuinely infuriating. Part of the reason I don't like Blood... <laughs> I mean, I don't dislike Bloodborne, but it does piss me off a lot. So many fucking enemies in this game are able to outreach you, even with the extended weapons. Yeah, this is one that you have to hit first, the other one. get through that without him noticing? Sick. I kind of want to go fight gas, or fight, uh, not gas coin, um, cleric beast. I might do that. What do you get for fighting cleric beast? Just the fucking saw hunter badge? Or, I don't remember if you get, no, cause you get the saw hunter badge from the pig, I think. Hmm. I don't know. 
Uh, I forget where Gascoin's fucking, um, where his, uh, words, they exist in my brain, his summon spot is. Madman's knowledge. I'll use one. Are you real yet? Nope. Fine. I'll have to come back. God forbid there was like a bonfire or some fucking item I could sit at that would respawn the area. My only options being teleport somewhere else or reset the game. Even Demon Souls had a thing that was just load game, which I only think they put in in case you got fucking soft locked or if you were trying to trade items with. What is it in fucking and Dark in Demon Souls? It's shiny, right? Because in Dark Souls it's snuggly. In Dark Souls Two, it's. Do they even have fucking names in Dark Souls Two? Oh, silky and smooth, and then it's Pumperum. Or Pickle P in fucking Dark Souls 3. Pickle P is weird, because she's unique in her fucking nomenclature. Because everything else is tactile, but she's the only one that's fucking um, auditory. Here in this dream to look after you. I forgot how fucking tall you are. Honorable hunter. Pursue the echoes of And she's voiced by the Maiden in Black, which is cool. And I will channel them into your strength. Didn't they get the Maiden in Black uh, back for a role in Elden Ring? I will be here for you. I thought they did. I might be wrong spirit. though. Oh, does she play Ronnie? Is that it? I thought they got the voice actress back for it, Very but I might well. be wrong. Let me stand. Hmm. Well, anyway, I need 16 and 12, and that's fine. I'm gonna pop there. Fine. Will do, sexy lady. Hold on. Oh, you got something for me? Yeah, I fucking need that shit, don't I? I think it's by the fountain, if I remember correctly. Uh, my memory for Bloodborne is both simultaneously pretty good and terrible i remember the layouts of most of the areas pretty well um but all of my memories are of running through them at mock speed screaming my head off uh so i don't remember where any of the items are except for a handful of obvious ones it's also frustrating and yet somehow still not enough Alright, time to go fucking find Gascoin, wherever the hell he is. If I could just get it down to two hits, that would be so much more effective. See, for those guys, sure. But, you know. Oh. Yeah, okay. Werewolves. Well, that doesn't really help me much. Because I need to get back over to the other side. Mm. Let's try that again. How did I get through here the first time? Because there was something. Over here, and then through there. It was on the bridge? Has to be. There's only one door here. So how did I get through here the first time? Because I did not walk past those fucking werewolves. Or if I did, they weren't here originally. Hmm. Memories. Misty watercolor. Oh, right, because I jumped down the sewers. I'm stupid. Fine. The thing that pisses me off, though, is that when you aggro one of them, you aggro both of them, if I remember correctly. Yeah, see? Fuck off! Oh, are 
Are you like chill now? Yeah, I think those guys are meant to be your farm for blood vials at the start of the game. Though it's not optimal. Yeah, because this just goes back over to the sewer. Um, I remember there being another werewolf over here. Maybe I'm just thinking of somewhere else. Um... Remembering. And it's pissing me off. Why? Alright, it should be somewhere over here. Yeah, there it is. Hey, you're so big. Yeah, he like chuckles or whatever when you play it, which is fun. Um, if I bring you over to your daughter, do you say anything? My mom wears a red suit for Like, I got your dad right here. You won't miss it. Oh, and if you find her, please. Fine, whatever. Alright, gas coin, let's go fucking fail to kill the fucking cleric beast. The reset on these fucking fights is so irritating. Alright, fuck face. how much damage the NPCs in this game take on average. <sighs> and following From Software's design philosophy, it looks like the final boss of Dark Souls 1. And by final boss, I mean Manus. Reason number one for why I dislike Bloodborne more than Souls games is that I can't fucking see what's happening the vast majority of the time. Like, look at this shit.
fucking die already. Fucking message on the screen, thank you. You have like no fucking health. What the hell? You know what pisses me off about this door? Is this door clearly is supposed to connect to a place later in the level up there, and the fact that it doesn't is infuriating. <sighs> That gets me the Kirkhammer and something else. I forget what. Welcome home. What is it you Levels? Very well. Let me stand. Kirkhammer is cool, but it's not as fucking. Oh, yeah, the fucking. Yeah, I remember these. I want that hat over. Because I like this, I like the other one more. I actually have a setup that I used to use. For my fucking thing. I might get back to it. When I have a chance. But um. For now. You know what fuck it. I'll just pop it on. There's no real weight limit in this game. I don't think. It's by like weapon you have actively in your fucking character. I think. Yeah it's the same. So who cares. Alright, um, what was I doing? I was doing something. Right. Oh, yeah. Um. should go kill that fucking pig. I don't remember. Nope, I remember. There's a better way to do it that does not involve me fucking uh, running down that extremely narrow corridor to my death. So I'll do it the other slightly smarter way. Maybe. Um, but I'll do it after I fight Gascoigne because there's no narrative reason to right now. It'll 
just result in wasted time. You got any more words for me? Yes, you I do. See. Neat. But the great bridge is the I already did that, that dude. Ward. And during the hunt, the bridge is closed. Hmm. You could this guy is more helpful than any scrap of paper in this rather, game. How shall I put it? Colorful area south of the Great Bridge. From there, an aqueduct leads Nowhere to the in this ward. game is colorful. <laughs> Bloodborne is by far the, the most monochrome of all the games. It is like a dirty brown color for the choice. entire game. Everywhere. Kind of sucks. Like, Bloodborne is ugly. Like, it is not a pretty game. Get to work. Wow, that's disappointing. Holy shit. I just love contextual scripting. I never noticed the dumb waiter on the other side with the fucking bag of sand or whatever. Well, it's about 5 in the morning now, so I should probably be fucking kicking it pretty soon. I think I'll go to up to the point with Gaskine, then I'll fucking call it for the night. I'll fight him in the beginning of the next part. Really? That didn't count? Piss off. And that didn't fucking count for a fucking... Do you have to be on level ground or something? What are we doing here? That's the way I would go down to get... I mean, I guess I could try for a fucking thing with Gascon, but I really don't want to. You know what? I'll fucking put out a fucking line if someone answers. If not, then I'll fucking call it a night. Cause I'm tired and I'm hungry and I'm pissed off more than anything else not at the game necessarily just at life in general but you know it is how it is <laughs>